Welcome back. Today we are changing the oil in the CHR 2021. Let's get our tools. 14 millimeter socket. You will also be needing a 10 millimeter. this to be able to take out the oil filter I use this one on my Acura TL and it works on this Toyota so your funnel and the pan where you're gonna put the oil it's the oil right there original from Toyota um, you want to jack out the car first of course and um, this is where I usually put my jack. Right there. I leave the jack on. So once we're down here, we want to find these four screws. So one, two, three. The fourth one right there. They're not too tight. Just hand tight. So just get them loose with your hand. Super easy. So you can see you can also use a screwdriver but make sure the screwdriver has a big head on it if not it's not going to be able to grab also when you start losing this plastic panel make sure you start from the back not like i did here that way you don't it's not it doesn't get complicated Of course, if you have the other hand, you can just hold it up. But it's super easy to take this off. Make sure you have all the screws to together. Now the oil drain plug. Loose. Take it out. If you guys can see here, the washer stays there. Well, for my car, I always stay there. If yours comes off, make sure that it doesn't fall and then you forget about it when you're gonna put it back on. I just leave it there. The oil filter, lose it. You can also try to loosen with your hand. They're not usually too tight. If you use a towel and put a little bit of strength in it, you should be able to take it out. That's the oil filter part number. And as you can see, the oil filter original from Toyota already has grease around the O-ring. Make sure that the old O-ring doesn't stay there and then you just put it back on you don't have to put any oil in in the filter to finish it tighten it up use a towel if it's too slippery you see the the oil is still dripping you can see that the washer is still there I can get it loose with a flat screwdriver, but it's okay. It's been working out great. It hasn't been leaking oil. Most likely I'll change it maybe at 40,000 miles. And uh, just tighten it up. As you can see here, you don't need that much force to tighten this up. Just a little bit. You just gotta snug it in. Do not over tight this. This is your dipstick.
that's where you put your oil back in. I put four quarts and a half every 5,000 miles. I used the original because uh, it ended up being the same price from buying from somewhere else. I used four and a half of this and um, it's been working out pretty good. This information right here I found it online in case you guys want to use it and um, that's it. Have a great day.